I woke up early this morning to take my dogs out. The three of us enjoyed the potent scent of Menhaden as the south wind blew it off of the ocean surface into our nostrils. I could see a big group of frantic seagulls on the other side of the dune. I launched my drone and flew it into this spectacle. I didn't notice any fish breaking, so I chalked it up to yet another dud for this fall. Feels like there have been a lot of those. I got to work instead of fishing. A few hours later, I got a text from Evan saying that the birds had again become active. Ten minutes later, another text. You should get out here. Mad fish on peanut bunker. Evan's not really one to say get out here, so I didn't waste another minute. Sideways in this current right up front. Shallow water. It's really heavy. Maybe big clip. The first one I got was bigger. The first one I got was a keeper. This one's under. Let's get more water here. There he goes. Awesome. All right. Let's get some out. Oh, fuck! 
Oh, got a chaser. Oh, we got him. Woo, 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 woo. Sick. Oh, man. I don't know if you know song that. We got peanut bunker in the wash now. I think that's the main bait. You can see the seagulls are freaking hooded up. Oh, there is a fish. Whoa! Oh my gosh. Tons of fish here. That's insane. We're hitting in like freaking one foot of water. Heaven's over there. Just me and him fishing today. Like dog walkers on the beach. The birds and the fish kept moving, so I did too. I'm gonna switch it up. Screw my wine glass and pass it off. I got this piece fucked up. Big profile. As the day progressed, the number of birds, bass, and surf casters grew exponentially. All the locals must have heard about the fish and ditched work. That's how it goes around these parts. The fish will be gone soon, and the work's not going anywhere. See you tomorrow, maybe.
fish, borderline keeper. A lot of rats too, but always have to feel these heavier ones. Casted for another 10 minutes with only one hit. Then I started to see fish in the translucent waves. I excitedly waded out right into a deep ditch. The backwash pulled my legs out from under me as the incoming wave pushed my torso in the opposite direction. I was swept off my feet and pulled underwater. Now that's what you call a washing machine surf. My waders filled up, but the water was surprisingly warm. I put the fly gear away and caught on bucktails until the sunset. These are the kind of days I live for.